Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today, we are going to compare the newly released Simply Safe doorbell to the Nest Hello. I did a comparison video between the Simply Safe and the Ring Pro last week. And also I did a lot of comparison videos between the Ring Pro and the Nest Hello, including product updates, especially with the Nest doorbell. And I will link all of them in the description below. Nest just recently updated the firmware on the Hello doorbell. So this is also an update and to check if the issues like delayed motion notification, long cool off periods, offline issues, and the two-way audio recording has been addressed. We will see. But just letting you all know guys, this has been the most frustrating comparison video that I did to date. First, the SimpliSafe seems to have interference issues. And I noticed this at first when my ring spotlight cam, which is a good 15 to 20 feet from the doorbell, is triggered together with my floodlight cam, which is in my garage. So when both ring cameras have started recording, which is usually the case, and then Simply Safe is triggered, I'll get all the notifications, but the Simply Safe will not be able to record the video. It doesn't happen all the time, and I wasn't even able to replicate it. Then today, when I initially installed my Nest Hello, which by the way streams and records all the time, and placed it side by side with the Simply Safe, I noticed that the Simply Safe wasn't recording. And when I checked my timeline, I did get all the notifications, but when I tried checking the videos, it will state that the camera is disconnected and the footage is unavailable. So I unplugged the Nest and retested, and the Simply Safe starts recording normally. I plugged in back the Nest just to double check and try to replicate it, and both doorbell cameras are working fine. So, to make sure and to rule out issues with interference, I have to disable one camera when testing, except for when comparing motion notification speed and cool off period delays. Later, when I tried testing the two way audio from the doorbell press, the Nest went offline, which has been an issue with this doorbell ever since, and I thought that Nest has addressed this on their latest update. It just seems like these two video doorbells doesn't want to be tested side by side. Then at night, when I was about to test night vision, Nest again. Now, their whole app decided not to work. Checked and tried logging in on their site, well, cannot log in, and says Nest service is not available right now. So I went to their main support page, and this is what it says. So Nest decided to have issues with their service at the time that I'm doing the test. So every Nest device that I have, which is not a lot, but I have the Nest E thermostat and also then my Nest X Yale lock aside from the cameras, I am not able to access and control via the app. The Nest service was down for a while, at least. Two hours later. This is one reason guys why I don't stick to one brand because of issues like this. I don't know if this is just a coincidence that I was actively testing when the Nest service failed or this is happening quite often. Nest doesn't send any notifications or emails when their service is down. So I have to do some of my testing the following day, which everything went smoothly. Aside from those issues, we will go forward and do a comparison between these two video doorbells, starting from their pricing, features, subscription fees, video and audio quality, day and night, and see which doorbell camera will fit your needs. The Nest Hello retails for $230 and the Simply Safe at $170. With the upcoming holiday and shopping season, you will probably be able to buy them cheaper, or some retailers might bundle them with other products. The Nest Hello records in HD, but in a different 4x3 format, with the purpose of getting more area vertically so that you'll be able to see people from head to toe. The Simply Safe has the traditional 16x9 1080p Full HD. The Nest Hello has a 160 degree field of view and records at 30 frames per second, and also has HDR or high dynamic range, which balances the exposure even in bright and dark areas. The Simply Safe has a 162 degree field of view. And the FPS is not published anywhere on their website, but it looks like it is around the same as the Nest, or probably 20 FPS. 
So this is the video and audio test for the Nest Hello Doorbell. So this is the video and audio test for the Synthesate Video Doorbell Pro. What I'm noticing though that my Nest footage is not as clear and not as smooth and I will have occasional choppiness especially when somebody initially goes in the frame of the camera. I set the Nest to record at the highest quality and I don't have the greatest internet but I don't have the slowest also. Both doorbells needs to be wired either to your existing doorbell wiring or using an AC adapter. The Nest Hello needs 16 to 24 volts AC and the Simply Safe needing 8 to 24 volts AC. The Nest Hello needs a chime connector kit just like the Ring Pro so as to function properly. It is easy to install and the Nest app will guide you to which wires to connect to. As to Simply Safe, just like in my install, I don't need to mess with my chime. But there are customers that are complaining about a buzzing sound in their chimes, which Simply Safe will send out a chime connector kit that can fix the issue. This feature is the main difference between the two. The Nest Hello, like all their other cameras, records 24-7. So it basically streams and uses your internet bandwidth all the time. Now with the Hello, I put an asterisk in there because of mine and like a lot of customers complaining that the Hello tends to go offline multiple times a day, just like it did on mine when I'm doing the testing. So, it is not a true 24-7 recording until Nest fixes the issue. While it records 24-7, it uses algorithms to detect motion and sound in which it will send you a push notification. This is also a feature of Nest Hello and all their cameras which the notification has a delay from 15 to 30 seconds. Now, to clarify guys, this is not your internet or your router, so stop blaming your equipment. Nest designed their software to do this for whatever reason. So we're gonna test the motion notification between the Simply Safe Doorbell Video Pro and then Nest Hello Doorbell. Let's check it out. Simply safe. And then the nest. Okay. Now it's 4.46, about 5 minutes uh, have passed and let's check, uh, we know that Simply Safe will have a 5 minute uh, cool off period, let's see about the nest. Simply Safe. The nest so it's cool off period is actually better usually within five minutes also seconds still all right so as you can see in the test the delay with the nest is still there even with their new update the cool off period though has improved at least every five minutes in the test just like the simply safe as a side note if you turn on familiar faces on the hello you will get different notifications and it can be lesser than five minutes but the delay in notification still persists as to Simply Safe, it only records when it senses motion, and it uses currently PIR motion detection, and it will roll out an update eventually, and adding smart motion detection, which uses algorithm to work together with the PIR sensor so as to minimize false alerts. 
both of these cameras records to the cloud, which you will need a subscription so as to be able to access it. Now with Nest, you can choose not to subscribe, but you will not be able to view any recordings. The Nest will give you a several hours worth of snapshots, but you will not be able to set activity zones if you are not subscribed. Subscription starts at $5 a month for a 5-day video history, $10 for a 10-day, and $30 a month for a 30-day video history, which the last option is a bit expensive. As to simply save, it is $5 a month for 30 days worth of motion recordings. And if you have their alarm system and subscribe to their interactive monitoring plan, then the cloud access is already included. Both cameras have night vision and you can toggle it on or off which is useful if you want the camera to record in full color at night, especially if you have a lighted porch like in my case. So this is the video and audio quality of the Nest Hello with the night vision on and my 60 watt porch light on. This is the video and audio test for the Simply Safe Video Doorbell Pro with the night vision on and also my front porch light 60 watt light on. So this is the video and audio quality of the Nest Hello with the night vision off and the front porch light 60 watt light bulb on. So this is the video and audio quality of the SimpliSafe Video Doorbell Pro with the night vision off and the front porch is light, 60 watt light on. So this is the video and audio quality of the Nest Hello with the night vision on and all lights are off. So this is the video and audio test for the Simply Safe Video Doorbell Pro with the night vision on and all lights are on. Both cameras have two-way audio. Can I help you? Can I help you? Uh, yes, he's not here right now. Um, can you come back later? Okay, sure. Alright, thank you, bud. Life Extra here. Can I help you? Is Life Extra here? Uh, yes, he's not here right now. Um, can you come back later? Okay, sure. Yes, uh, can I help you? Uh-oh, is Life Pastor here? Uh, no, he's not here right now. Uh, can you come back later? Okay, sure. Thank you. Is Life Packs through here? Yes, I can I help you? Uh oh, is Life Packs through here? Uh, no, he's not here right now. Uh, can you come back later? Okay, sure. Thank you. 
Please note that both of them only records the cameras or the doorbell side of the conversation and not the person on the phone or on the other side. Nest promised a while back to have this update on their doorbell, which it seems like they broke that promise. Now I am wondering aside from the cool off period improvement, what else did the latest update fix? Let me know in the comments below guys if you notice any improvements or changes. As to dimensions, the Hello measures 4.6 inches in height, 1.7 inches in width, and 1 inch in depth. The Simply Safe, which designed almost the same, measures 4.4 inches in height, 1.43 inches in width, and 1.25 inches in depth. A side note that the build quality between the two is different, with the Nest Hello looks and feels solid, and the Simply Safe feels plasticky. As to connection, the Hello can be connected using 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, and the Simply Safe can only be connected to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Operating temperature of the Nest Hello is from 14 degrees to 104 degrees Fahrenheit and is weather resistant with an IPX4 rating. Now with the Simply Safe, there is still a limited information as to the operating temperature and if it is weather resistant, which I'm assuming it is at least. The Nest Hello also offers more features like their familiar faces option and they also have a theft replacement which they did add as an afterthought, which I hope Simply Safe will also do the same. Also, Nest is owned by Google, so it is a given that it is integrated with Google Home devices. Lightpaxter is at the front door. While we're talking about the Nest Hello, Wasserstein recently sent me some accessories for the Nest Hello doorbell. Thank you Wasserstein for letting me check it out. First, we have the AC adapter which is designed for Nest Hello, but this adapter is also the one they sell for the Ring Pro. The same model number and the output is 18 volts AC and 500 milliamperes. Installing it is pretty easy. Just screw in the two wires and it doesn't matter which wire goes to which screw at the back of the Nest Hello. This adapter will also work with a Simply Safe doorbell. Next is the silicone cover if you want to have some protection in your Hello doorbell. Personally, I will not install one, especially to any plugged in camera, just because silicone is an insulator and will keep the heat in. Now, if you live in areas where it freezes during winter time, this cover can help insulate the camera and will improve its operating temperature range. Next, we have this adjustable angle mount, which you will be able to use the Nest Hello even if your existing doorbell is in a corner, which some houses do. The Nest comes with a 15 degree wedge, but with this mount, you'll be able to position the camera so that it will be on the same plane as your door. It comes with its own set of mounting screws. Lastly, this is not from Wasserstein, and I purchased this on my own. And this is a mounting plate that can cover up the doorbell holes, which in my case, when I installed the Nest Hello in my brick wall, the hole they made for the doorbell wires is a tad too big that the doorbell cannot cover completely when it is installed. This wall plate from Ilago will cover it up. I will link all these accessories in the description down below. So what do you think guys? Personally, making this video has tested my patience. Murphy's Law definitely applied on that day of testing. I really want Nest Hello to be better. The build quality is solid, but I guess if you mate it with a crappy software, it is still a crappy product. I don't know if Nest Service Outage is an isolated incident which I hope it is, but it just solidifies my way of thinking that you never rely on one brand or product. You need to have a backup of a backup because of something like this happens, especially if you're talking about security. The only improvement I'd noticed with the software update on the Nest Hello is the cool off period, which is now around five minutes. It used to be 10 minutes. Notification delay and the one-way audio recording is still there. What gives Nest? As to Simply Safe, I'm almost positive it is interference. If something that uses Wi Fi is near the doorbell and is actively using it, then there is a probability that the doorbell will not be able to upload the footage. It is not all the time, but it happens. With all of that, 
I will uninstall the Simply Safe and will reinstall my Ring Pro. Anyways, comment down below guys on what your thoughts are. Are you going to go with the Nest Hello or the Simply Safe doorbell? Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get comparison videos like this video, product reviews, product updates, and long-term reviews. Thank you!